Tiffany Midnight Teal. I love this color. Skinny leg and curvy fit. Regular forty nine dollars. On sale, I believe, for thirty six Fit into tens, just tight. I don't like to wear anything. I am not a 9-11 truther. I am a truther, period. I am a constant and vigilant pursuer of the truth. However disturbing, upsetting, or unwelcome by me, that truth may ultimately happen to me. I have no doubt. But she's here. You say, oh, she's here. I know, but she said within the next 20 minutes. Okay, but all you have to do is say she's here and I will run out the door. You don't have your boots on. I have my sneakers on. Will you leave me alone? Right. You wonder why you drive me nuts. I know. I'm responsible, Mom. What do you think? I'm sitting here naked when, when she's on her way? That's why you drive me nuts. Come on, I'm not a little kid. I'm all ready. You saw me getting all ready and you're bugging me when I'm in the bathroom over something stupid. I'm ready. Anyway, biggest loser. It's impossible. It's impossible that three out of five people on Dolvet's team only lost two pounds. Impossible. Um, it's not impossible, it's impossible that they worked out as hard as the people on Bob's and Jillian's team who lost. Nine pounds, eleven pounds, at least five or six pounds. And of course, the other team will look over and they're going to see. They're going to see. Oh, they're working hard, yeah, because they're not laying down doing nothing. But there's no way. It's, don't that must not push people as hard as Bob and Julia. And there's no freaking way that three members of Dwell's team and then the blue teams in the room, four and a half. Day and still killed it compared to Devon's team. It was like two pounds each, three out of five people, even men. There's no way. I'm sorry. You can say all you want that they worked just as hard and that they worked there, but threat they didn't. They couldn't have. They thought they did. But the numbers don't lie. The numbers don't lie. It's the third week. It's not the notorious week, too. So. Yeah, I'm mean to my mom sometimes. But she drives me up a wall. She has no concept of health and safety. We are on the bus last night. She's just this older guy, come on. And and just all of a sudden she's going to blurt out, so do you live in such and such? 
It's like, Mom, you don't blurt out on the bus where we live. You never say where you live to anybody. You don't know who's listening. You don't know who this guy is. We're walking. I mean, oh, no concept of health and safety at all for her, for the dogs. Yeah, I've had to be mean sometimes. My coolest shit black friend from the shelter. When I told her different situations of how I've quote unquote been mean and cried because I was so mean to my mother, she, and and she's like, you gotta cut yourself some slack, Laura, you know, especially when your mom's not holding the leash tight enough, and the dog gets away when you told your mom repeatedly to hide and hold the leash tight enough, and she in one ear, not the other. Her dog, you know, it could have been Omar. There's no concept of health and safety in that. It's Do not announce. Do not announce.